hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon today we're going to talk about Facebook retargeting and how do you create a Facebook retargeting ad? how do you create the audience how do you set up so that your audience gets created your your um, custom audience and how all that works so that you can get people to see ads of your products or content or or posts that they've already seen something else how do you represent them something based on them seeing it already right so we're going to talk about that how that works because and I'm actually going to show you an example because I'm in the middle of doing that right now I've been setting up I've got an audience that's been growing and now I'm actually going to set up and add to that same audience that's been growing I'm going to show you a little bit how that all works and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so first of all I don't I want to show you what I've been doing how I'm doing it and what how you can you can reproduce what I'm doing too but there's lots of ways to do this and the first thing you got to do is you got to have a pixel if you don't know what a pixel is I'm not going to go into that in this training in this episode but a Facebook pixel is basically something that gets dropped on a person's computer basically a cookie that identifies them as being somebody who already seen one of your pages so you put this pixel which is a piece of code on your website but you can also automatically have it included in any of your videos that you post any of your posts you post anything that so Facebook automatically knows what's going on on your page what people are doing what they're seeing and they keep track of that because they 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 want to be able to sell advertising right that's what Facebook does that's how they make their money right so how can you take advantage of that and there's one thing that I've learned from one of my mentors Mark Lalonde is that if you uh, present yourself to people like over and over on a specific topic and then you try to uh, um, recommend something or try to sell something to them they're much more likely let me take that back if you try to sell something to somebody if you're trying to promote something if you're trying to sell a webinar or a course or anything like that and you're trying to tell them that your course is the best you, they can they can buy it from you and they're going to learn and all this versus them seeing you every day for the last month on their news feed about different things that are related to what you're trying to sell them when you tell them hey I got this course would you like to go check it out it's only 10 bucks it's only 50 bucks it's only 500 bucks or well you probably don't say the price in the ad but that then they're more likely to go see it go check it out go find out what that course is about because they've seen you they 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 think they know you they feel they know you because they've seen you over and over and over and they see that you present lots of stuff you teach lots of things or you you talk about that particular topic or whatever so how do you do that how do you make that happen I mean obviously one way is you can just post things on Facebook you can just create content you can just share that content and you can just grow your audience that way you can have a, pay, a fan page get people to like it get people to engage there's lots of ways and that's actually a really better way but it takes a lot of time right you got to be on Facebook regularly you got to be commenting on people's stuff you got to be uh, sharing things you got to be posting in groups you got to be posting in your page you got to be posting on your profile you got to be doing all that which you know if you have time fantastic because it certainly is better it definitely I I think it's a hundred times better than using ads but when you don't have time like me I have a daytime job I have a family I have a we have a house to, to deal with we have kids to deal with we have you know I have a, a wife I have a relationship we have to everything everything takes time there's health there's exercising there's there's making meals there's all those things take time I'm not you know I see these entrepreneurs that are, that say hey I spend 10 to 20 12 hours a day working on my business and I'm like well great for you but you don't have a life you're you're single maybe you don't even have a job so you know it's all good it's awesome that you can do that and take advantage of it while you can but when you have a life you don't necessarily have the time to do the right thing or the best things so this is what we're going to show you is what I do what I've done what I'm trying to build based on things I've learned 
and I'm just going to show you here I'm just going to share my screen and show you what I'm talking about uh first of all uh whoops wrong uh, wrong button why did that do that okay there we go so okay so sharing my screen so the first thing I want to show you I probably should uh, let's just make this into a, a separate thing I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna go to Facebook okay so first of all this is what I do in one of my um right so in one of my so on my Facebook page you're going to see lots of stuff on my on my page if you go to for example my page where's my pages if you go to my page right over here I got a whole bunch of pages and if you go to say for example my main page which by the way they're they're not they don't this page isn't oh really <laughs> so now they've made it oh uh, I don't know what that is maybe they just un, unpublished I don't know why they why you can publish it when you're ready to okay publish it this page is published now you can invite friends okay I don't know what that was then anyways okay so this is the page and I post things on here there's stuff stuff that's automated and there's I post these videos every day right you've been seeing my posts you've been seeing my videos you see all this stuff all over here and basically what I'm doing is I'm posting videos and there's other things that are automated uh like for example whenever I, I I post a video on YouTube it automatically uh, shares it here through um does it say it doesn't say anymore it used to say who shared it that it was shared by uh, IFTT or by only why or things like that but now it just shows as a as a post now this is the actual post that I did this one has 230 people reach uh, seven engagements 11 shares 23 views it's not huge but that's because this is a Facebook page and now Facebook doesn't really do a lot of engagement with pages anymore it really takes a lot to get what we call organic reach on Facebook now so they really want you to spend money on ads right so now what I've done is if I go to for example um let's see if I go to my other page which is uh no that's not yeah okay my click uh, course income secrets which is the one I've been using as the kind of the launch pad for all this because I'm doing course income secrets videos right uh it says this page is invisible again what is that supposed to mean publish it page is published why would they anyways I don't know what that is maybe it does make sense because I've been posting I've got ads everything it's all it's all there there must be a glitch in Facebook here in any case when I scroll through here there's also a bunch of automated stuff and there's my my videos so what I've done see so these are yeah 129 this is just go back up here maybe it just didn't reload or something okay so here's the here's the pay, the videos I did the last few days right my course income secrets uh number 159 how to migrate MLSP blogs to newest web wordpress site how to create and edit videos on TikTok um, what content should you create for TikTok how to use TikTok to grow your business so as you can see I've done a few videos here on TikTok I've gone here your first Facebook ads and fastest course creation method and I did a uh, are you wondering how to create a course or what's the best way to learn traction marketing so anyways I've been posting things regularly right and the thing is that those aren't being um promoted or anything so if I go back what I did is I promoted some of these so let's just go back to the ones I promoted okay so this one here is it, it does it show right here where that it's actually in promotion right now I'm trying to see yeah I guess it doesn't it, it anyways things change all the time this is one thing you have to remember on social media things will change all the time so whatever you might have seen a couple months ago may, and you go back and you look it might be different so right now obviously the the whole Facebook of um, UI has changed last month right it's all new now and this is it, it's different the, the navigation is different things are different so you got to find things when you figure out where things are <clears throat> mostly you know it's the same it's mostly the same but it's also well what I mean by the same is I mean it's got mostly the same functionality right you click someplace to go to a group you click someplace to go to a page you you click somewhere to create a post you do a live though all those things are mostly there but just buttons have changed the where they are maybe they they've changed the look and feel and the the, the colors and things like that right but it's uh, it's pretty much the same so right now we see this ad this one here is saying 537 people reached this doesn't look like a being okay with this post no this is not boosted there's I know I, I post I boosted a few of these maybe it's not the post that I'm boosting maybe it's just the video 
oh yeah this one here but I, I don't really understand what's going on it's like if my ads have stopped maybe maybe let's go let's go take a look if I go to ads manager right now I'm just going to go to the ads <clears throat> I'm just going to go to the ads themselves and then I'll show you this other thing after but the thing the secret the okay here's this here's the process first you need a pixel once you have a pixel then whenever you post anything your posts are pixelated or pixeled or the person is pixeled to you right that's the first thing secondly you got to create a custom audience that will keep track of people who have seen certain things what I do is the video so what I do is I created a custom audience that shows people uh, that that keeps track of how the people that have seen parts of my video right three seconds or or, th or 10 seconds or whatever it is so that's that keeps track and it populates this custom audience based on who has seen my video third I create videos every day so I create a video and then I post and I share it and I and I send it to groups and I and I I do that right I do the sharing and everything and that means that anybody who sees those videos gets added to this custom audience every day right so, so the thing you have to remember is that you have to add the video to the custom audience before you share it because if you don't do that because the custom audience is populated by people who view your video once they're added to your audience you can't you can't add the video to your let's say you had 100 views on your video and then you add it to your audience those 100 people will not be included in your audience so it's very important to to add the video just before you share it so what I do is I I create the video I I post it or, or I do I actually do a live a live feed right as soon as it's there it starts the first second of the video playing when it's alive I can go in the audience and add that video to the audience okay so that means that populates that audience that's a custom audience of people who have viewed your video right and then the third step is you uh well actually uh, we could have a third step here which is um a 2.5 if you will which is boosting those videos to show to more people to grow your audience faster so you can do ads to those videos to I don't know Gary V fans Eric War fans or whoever is in your niche just your regular you know your cold market right your cold market people that are in your niche that are interested in what you what your general message is not necessarily that specific video because but your video should always be you know your content should always be around your niche right so if, if you're in wellness if you're in in health if you're in uh, weight loss well your video should be about weight loss tips right you can't talk about real estate if you're trying to reach people in in that want to lose weight right that's no there's it's kind of silly like me it's all about social media it's all about creating courses it's all about learning the the attraction marketing personal branding like learning how to build a business online right so all these things that I talk about just like this this episode here where I'm talking about Facebook ads that's what I do so these videos I can target to people like Gary V fans who are entrepreneurs and who uh, also like um uh, we're also Facebook page admins and who uh, who also like uh, self-help books and who also are interested in making money from home right so those are things you can target in Facebook so you do an ad for that your video is going to be shown to those people and then they get added to your custom audience right so now you've got your custom audience that's growing and growing and growing nothing else is really happening it's just normal things are normal it take it can take a month before you have a, a useful custom audience right because me I've been doing this for like well this particular strategy I've been doing it for about three weeks and my custom audience is about 1600 people now which isn't big right it's just but those are all people who actually saw three seconds or more of my video <laughs> get excited about three seconds right it's pretty crazy that's all it's really insane that you're getting that I would get excited but anyways I'll just show you so if I go to my uh business is business manager my I want to go see these ads that are going I want I'm wondering because when I look at the page it looks like they're they're not active anymore right so this is the ads manager the ads manager again I'm not going to go into how to set that up and how it works but if I look at these ads that I've got that are active right now these are all these videos right CIS 148 149 147 these are the some of the ones I did I probably should be doing the more recent videos now but what I've been doing is getting this right so as, as you can see I spent 17 dollars here so well that's a lifetime so this is my you can can you see it no you can't see it because my face is in the way let's move it up here 
there <clears throat> so actually let's put it in the middle right there okay so over here this was lifetime so it says 18,000 that's how much I spent so let's just do it for the last month let's say the last uh, 30 days so in the last 30 days I spent 136 bucks right so it's not a huge amount of money but it's it's a you know it's it, you've got to have a budget you can't just, you can't do Facebook ads without a budget and uh and I've done the minimum on here I'm just doing the 140 um a one dollar 40 a day which is uh showing me so now it's showing me the cost per result 40 cents 44 cents 32 cents so the results are these are the impressions the reach and the results so how many people have watched a certain number of seconds of the video right through plays I forget whether that's three seconds or if it's 10 uh oh it's no it's, it's I guess it's longer wow that's because yeah three second video c 323 299 <coughs> uh video average three seconds four seconds five seconds right so I'm not getting I'm not it's not like I'm getting people that are going to be like oh my god this is awesome I want to watch this whole video this guy is awesome because these are all things that are relatively new right there and they don't probably don't know me because these are all these ads are all being sent to let's say I look at the um, set up a blog uh, create your email list okay so if I just look at this I'm trying to uh, is it this one <clears throat> so this one here is being sent to uh, where's the audience is over here is it audience audience so the audience is uh, all I did is I just did a female audience of Gary V so I have a bunch of different audiences but let's do actually you know what let's do a new ad a new ad right now to one of the videos I'm going to send it to another uh to a to a and kind of show you how to, how to do that just, so you can do you can go to your page right I can go to the page right here and I can actually just go up here let's boost the TikTok the TikTok ones <coughs> so the TikTok ones are uh first ads okay this one here 156 I'm going to do the 156 which is the TikTok ads over here so like I said you can do a boost right here oh it says boost unavailable mm, that's interesting mm. not sure why it's saying that that's the, that's did they do something on my page again anyways Facebook is all over the place let's see if it'll work if I do this if I create an ad I can I want to say <coughs> all right so we're going to call this oh it's starting from all right I want to just delete this one I want to create a new ad create a new campaign all right so create a new campaign what I want to do is video views and I'm just going to spend a daily budget of a dollar it has to be a dollar 40 because it's Canadian and U.S. Uh, it has to be a daily uh, so minimum is a dollar U.S. <clears throat> but in Canada Canadian it's dollar 40. so I'm going to say CIS 150 what was it that I said I said 150 hold on there I'm just going back here 156 156 so 156 so right uh and let's just give it a name here it's called TikTok views grow grow biz TikTok grow biz okay I'm just gonna it doesn't really matter this is a this is just a name for me and I like to use the same name on the campaign and all the different parts so I'm just going to say dollar four to click on continue <clears throat> now the next part is where you choose your audience I can use a saved audience I've got a I, so like I said I put the same name here I can use a saved audience I'm going to go in my saved audience got a whole bunch of audiences let's just say I I this, just for the fun of it I'm going to do Gary V fans which is an audience I created before which is all Gary V and also must match Tony Robbins right they must match personal branding they must have a per Facebook page admin so I'm I'm basically targeting people who like Gary V who like Tony Robbins who are English and the age is 16 to so any age right and I'm going to the what they call the top five English markets so Australia Canada United Kingdom New Zealand New yeah, United States all right so the rest I don't worry about automatic placement I'm just going to go like this and then I'm just going to say continue and the final part is actually the ad content what is it that I'm going to use as an ad 
so I'm going to say over here I'm going to change the page to uh course income secrets I'm going to change this to this and I'm going to say use existing post use existing post I'm going to click on select <coughs> and then I'm going to go to find 156 right over here so what's it saying that just says it doesn't work on Instagram so that's 156 there you go so continue and then that's going to uh, show me this so there you go so that's the that's the post I can have I can actually add a button here I'm going to say cis156 http there you go <clears throat> okay so that's the so that's going to take them to my blog if they want to like learn more right <clears throat> so that's going to be my ad for this and as you see down here there's a Facebook pixel that I already have I got to make sure that Facebook pixel is on there okay so that's how you create an ad that will grow your audience uh your your Facebook pixel so I already had this video in my audience I'm going to show you how to add that to the audience I just want to make sure that this was there and confirm this now that doesn't mean that the ads approved but uh, chances are it will be I'm just going to do um, another one 157 as well actually uh, yeah I'll do that later but for now I want to show you the rest okay so now the other thing is ads under audiences <coughs> under audiences is where you you create your custom audience now I have a custom audience already that has been building up this cis video viewers I got 1600 in there now so what you do if you want to create an audience you create a custom audience right here and then you say video you say I want I want video or you can say website app whatever different things right I want video viewers so this is going to be video viewers then down here I said people who viewed three or ten or whatever but I'm going to say three seconds because I want and then I choose my videos then I go in here I choose my page for example this page and then I just select the videos right and then that and then I just say confirm and then I can say now there's no reason to say this this is a number of days people will remain in your audience after they engage with your content right so that's you definitely want that to be and it's automatic right so if somebody watches a video if you have an ad that you are using this audience for then they get and they they're added to the view tomorrow well they're going to see your ads that are using this audience that's the super cool thing about this I'm just going to cancel because I already have one and this is the one here so when I whenever I post a new video like this this episode I'm recording right now I'm going to post it on Facebook I'm posting on YouTube post it different places when I post it on Facebook I'm actually going to come in here I'm going to I'm going to click on this little box here I'm going to say edit and then I'm going to edit the videos and I'm going to go add this new video to it as well right but I do that before sharing that's the thing you gotta remember before sharing so does it show I remember there's something somewhere it said something here where does it say uh, I forget there's a place where you I, I was actually thinking that people that were already viewed would be added after there's a place where it actually clearly says that it says that if you add them after they've seen it they don't get added to the audience they have to be they have to you have to add the video to the audience before they see it if you want them to be added to the audience right okay so that's the audience there that's how you add a video the next part is okay now I want to go in here and I want to go into ads and I'm going to create a new ad that uses that audience to post my video so I'm going to create another one again here <clears throat> it's also going to be a video views I want video views on this as well now the reason why you choose the different kinds of considerations and all this stuff is it affects how Facebook chooses to promote or try to try to make it because they want they want you to pay every time you get a result that you're wanting right so they're going to make sure that they try to send it to the right place so that it to, to the right people that they will that they think those people will engage right so that's why it's important to choose the right thing I'm going to say uh this is again just $1.40 a day 
and I'm going to say this is going to be cis uh, let's yeah this will be still the same thing okay except custom I'm just going to call it custom just that way I'll know that it's the custom audience instead of the regular audience because one of the videos is going out to people that I'm just targeting a, basically cold market people right people that don't know me yet that maybe have never heard of me and bec but because they like G Gary V who talks about content who talks about online stuff and they like Tony Robbins because that talks about personal growth and building things they are going to maybe see my video right then this one is going to be to people who've already seen another one of my video so let's just click on this and I'm just going to change the audience here this oh I forgot about that custom uh, let's just copy this whole thing so I don't have to okay and then this one is going to be a saved audience and it's going to be let's say did cis uh, oh I actually have to create a new audience so I want to create a new audience cis so now I'm going to put this this is going to be the people that are in that audience and then I can say I, I actually want this to be anywhere because I don't want so I got to say worldwide because the, the way that worldwide oops world wide world world wide okay region there the whole world and then now the thing is that I don't know why they do that I guess you could have an audience that saw your videos that are in Canada right and you want to just target Canadians that saw your video uh, in my case I want to target everybody that's that's seen my videos I don't care where they are because in my my audience is only built from people that I already targeted before right but actually that's not entirely true because some of the people that are seeing my audience might be out in the Philippines and you know maybe I don't want to target those people or and that kind of stuff so I don't know maybe I should do a uh, yeah because there's no sense in spending additional ad money to people who aren't in my main target area the English speaking you know uh, people right which might be but anyways let's just do that let's the United States I probably should have had that before but uh I hadn't I hadn't done this in a while Canada Can Canada Canada United Kingdom whoops what happened here United Kingdom okay and then I have oops, Australia and I like New Zealand New Zealand okay so uh down here now let's move my face to the side here a bit because there okay so New Zealand and then the age I will make this a little bit broader age I'll say 25 to say 60. genders that's fine uh what about language is there another language well it doesn't say that it doesn't I don't know why the language is not there detailed it's in here hmm. okay my, maybe when it's a custom audience you don't because well I guess people that have viewed my videos are already probably English speaking at least most of them would be and so that there you go okay so now I want to save this audience I'm going to call it cis video viewers uh I'll just call it I guess it so source okay so I'm just going to uh, uh top five I'm just going to do this and actually I'll put 25 to 60. there okay so so that will be the audience I'm going to be used for this ad right cis video viewers and the rest is fine I don't need to change any of this then I'm going to choose the ad again it's going to be again the same ad so I'm going to go back to my page here custom income course income secrets and I'm going to say use existing post 
uh, it's actually the same post that it did before so that's good and then that's all good that, that's all good so that's this is good so let's just do confirm okay so now what's going to happen is the first ad that I did for this particular video is just going to go and grow my custom audience because I uh, I targeted cold market people right and I could do the same thing actually you know I could do the same thing for a couple others we're at the 30 minute mark already so I'm just I just kind of wanted to show you the process I hope that that kind of explains some of it and obviously if you're listening to the audio you really want to go to my blog to go find this video uh you're going to be you're going to I'm going to you're going to hear what the, the the blog post is but anyways you can also go to the platform to go and see the link to the video to the to this episode on my blog to actually watch this and see what this is all about so like I said the the the, the secrets to doing custom retargeting posts is first you have to have posts you have to have an, a, a, a pixel you have to create posts regularly you have to share the, you have to create a custom audience that you add these videos to then you have to create ads that target that send these videos out to your cold market to grow your custom audience and finally you have to create other another ad to target that new custom audience so that they will so somebody will see you more than once so you get a, you should have at least seven at least seven ads that go to the retargeted audience so that people will see different things at least seven different things so that when you're ready to actually promote something to sell to them they will think oh this guy I know him I've been seeing him everywhere he knows what he's talking about let's go check out whatever it is he's selling maybe I maybe I'm gonna want that and they actually automatically trust you they automatically think you're you're you know worthy of their trust worthy of their ten dollars or twenty five dollars whatever it is you're trying to sell that's the way to do it with ads all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time